Hey guys, and welcome to The Farming Pastor's Wife. Tonight, we are making crusty bread to go along with our soup. making crusty bread y'all it is so good so good all right so I have got my oven light on uh, the oven is not on just the light and so it is kind of warming up the oven I even sat this bowl that I'm gonna mix it up together in I sat that in there for um, a little while just so my bowl would even be warm so let me tell you what we're going to need. We're going to need some bread flour, warm milk, warm milk, <laughs> warm water. We're going to need some instant rapid rise yeast. We're going to need some salt, salt, and we're going to need, I, you don't need this. I just add this, some Italian seasoning and some sesame seed. We don't need these yet, so I'm going to set them off to the side. And we're going to go ahead and start making this bread. This is a no-need bread, so your hands don't even have to get in here and get dirty or anything. So, we're going with three and a half cups of bread flour. And you do not have to be exact. I mean, you want to be close, but you don't have to, like, level it off and... Be sure in fact I'm not even getting out my half measurement I'm just gonna eyeball it there we go close enough right okay we're gonna set this off to the side I'm gonna go in with one and a half well Brian's left and I can't get the yeast open. There we go. Approximately one and a fourth to one and a half. I usually just go to one and a half. Did you see me just dump it? <laughs> teaspoon. One and a half teaspoon of yeast. Those few little kernels I dropped will put right there. And I'm just going to whisk, whisk that in real quick. Alright, we're also going to go in with one and a half teaspoon of salt. Y'all, I had no idea remodeling and stuff like that was so... Whew, my goodness. <laughs> now, depending on your weather, you may or may not need more or this amount of water. So we're going to start with this amount. Well, we're not going to go all the way in. I'm going to go almost all. Let's stop right there. And let's give it a stir. And you're just trying to incorporate everything, making sure it's all wet. So, yep, we're going to need all of it. And we may need more. So, we will see. And I'm just kind of stirring in around just to bring everything together. And it's going to be kind of a shaggy... Um, you know, stringy kind of looking dough. That's fine. We're just going to do it right like that. 
And guys, I believe that is just about perfect. Here we go. Let me get something just to push off my... So I can truly be good as my word and say you don't have to touch it. <laughs> you don't have to touch it. All right. Now I do just want to bring those, bring it together just so that it's in a together state. There we go. Looks like it's all together right there okay so this is gonna go that's all there is to this bread now we're gonna let it go into the warm oven we're gonna let it proof for about an hour and a half we're gonna let it rise for about an hour and a half um, then we'll come back and we'll use our seasoning I mean our um, Italian seasoning and our sesame seeds I'll show you how we do that and then we will put it in another, what it's going to bake in, another dish that it'll bake in, which is my cast iron skillet. And um, we'll let it rise or proof again for another 30 minutes, and then we'll bake it. So it's going in my warm oven, not the oven on. It's just warm from the oven light, and I'm going to leave the oven light on. Let me put something over it. Um... Let's put something over it. There we go. All right, we're going in the warm oven. Again, not because the oven's on, but just because the oven light is on. And every time I open it, close it, I have to turn the light back on. So y'all, let's talk about this remodel. Oh my word. Why is that thing falling? Anyway. Oh, good grief, y'all. Cabinets are going to be my bear. I mean, and I'm so stressed. I mean, I'm not stressed. I'm so confused because we, we're going to be moving this wall. This wall is going to be pushed back in there, and it's going to be cut out. So we're going to be able to see in there. So it's going to be pushed in there, and then it's going to be open to in there. This wall right here is going to be opened into the living room so it's kind of going to be like a open floor plan we still haven't figured out what we're going to do on this wall and we got to order cabinets like asap or they won't be in because of covid they're like eight weeks out and um so we we're not our walls aren't even out yet it's just for us to measure it's just like oh my goodness and i had really wanted right here Right in this little where everything converges right there it was going to be open and I wanted a little like a triangle sort of island there but because these are load-bearing walls they're gonna to have to put a beam and um, it's just not gonna look right and so now anyway oh my goodness it's all over my head so uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna take you on a video soon coming up, and we'll show you the bathroom as is now, no matter how embarrassed I am of it, and then um, show you the before and the after, and the in and the in between. I dread the in between. Oh mercy! So anyway, y'all, we're having broccoli and cheese soup tonight. So I'm gonna clean up my bread stuff, and I'm gonna prep and get ready for the broccoli. Um broccoli and cheese soup and um yeah so that's what I'm gonna do now so I'll bring you back when the hour and a half is up in fact I need to set the timer 90 minutes and we'll be back and I'll show you the next step on this y'all this crusty bread I got this from I think it's artisan bread by Steve or Steve's artisan bread or something like that um let me get back up my yeast rolls. I make delicious yeast rolls, but I am constantly on the search and trying recipes for a better one. Um, mine are delicious. I love them, but I'm constantly searching for a better one. This crusty bread, let me tell you, once I found this one, 
The searching is over. We love, absolutely love this bread. It is to die for. It is so good. And it's easy. Y'all saw how easy that was. That was the absolute, I didn't have to let anything bloom. I didn't have to let anything. Y'all, it is so easy. So I'm going to clean up, get ready for the soup. But y'all got to try this crusty bread. If you like, cr and when I say crusty bread, it's kind of chewy and tender on the inside, but on the outside, it's, I mean, you can tap it and you hear the, cr the crustiness of it. And it's just so good. So good. So anyway, I'm going to clean up. I'm going to prep for my soup and I'll bring you back in just a little bit. Okay guys, we're ready for our next step to our bread. And as you can see, it's kind of spread out. And I'm just going to kind of pull it away from the side. I'm going to just kind of bring it back together. And here is where we're going to, you do not, this is completely optional for you guys. You do not have to do this, but I like to sprinkle a little bit of rosemary, uh, rosemary, Italian seasoning. Y'all, what's the matter with me? And I just kind of roll it around. All right. Now, I'm going to get a napkin. <clears throat> and we're going to put a little bit of Crisco in my big, not, it's my medium skillet. It's 10 inch, I think. And you, this one is high-sided. It's pretty deep. Um, but you can use, you know, whatever you have. So just a little bit more down here in the bottom. Because we want this to just pop right out. Okay. So we're going to just... Flop that right in there. Okay. That's my rise time's up. But I got it out anyway, early. Okay, and I'm going to dust the top with some sesame seed. There we go. All right, now it's going back in the oven with the oven light on for 30 minutes, and then we'll be ready to bake it after it rises 30 more minutes in a, you know, a cozy oven. It's not really warm. It's just cozy with the light on. So, okay, guys. That was it. I never even touched the dough. Never even touched it. So, I'm going to put this over to wash and we, oh, let me tell you a little tip. I'm probably not going to do that, put it out to wash. I'm going to set it in my office room and let it dry. And then this stuff just flakes off and it doesn't become a gooey mess in your sink or your dishwasher. And I mean, when it gets in your wash rag, it does not come out. Your dish rag, it does not come out. So, I mean, it does, but it's like nasty and you have to get a whole nother wash rag. So, dish rag. Urgh, I can't say anything right tonight. So, anyway, I'm going to set this in there. I am going to wash this. But, um, my bowl, I'm going to sit in there and let it dry. And, um, we'll just, just flake it out. So, all right. Um, I'll meet you back in here in 30 minutes. Okay, y'all, if you hear something, Judah's playing with toys and he's dragging them through the floor. But anyway, I'm going to get the bread out of the oven so I can preheat the oven and get it ready to stick the bread in. So, um, get it out. 
going to preheat the oven to 400. And let's give it a look while we're waiting. Might as well, huh? Look, it has doubled again. In fact, I may put, let's see. I may put a few more rosemary. Uh, I'm not saying the right thing, obviously. I think I'm gonna leave the seasoning, but add a few more sesame seed. I think the sesame seed are gonna send this over the top. Judah's making a racket. Now, if you had some coarse salt, that would be pretty sprinkled on top. So, we're just going to let it sit here. My kitchen's fairly warm. I've been cooking. So, we're going to let it sit here and um, just till the oven is preheated. And then we will um, stick it in for about... 30 to 40 minutes. I usually stay on the lower end, maybe 30 to 35. Okay guys, the oven is preheated. We're going in. Everything is timing out perfect where the bread's going to be done just shortly before the soup and we'll be able to sit down and eat hot bread and hot soup all at the same time. So the bread's going in a 40, uh, 40. I cannot talk y'all. What is the matter with me? 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. We'll check it at 30 minutes. I may leave it a few more minutes longer than that. I know why I can't talk. This remodel already has stressed me till I'm crazy. Yes. Oh. Anyway, we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, guys, so we are getting the bread out of the oven. Well, I've actually already got the bread out of the oven. So pretty. Let you watch me turn it out. Whoops. Did you enjoy that little shake, shake, shake your booty? <laughs> Woo, y'all, that is so pretty. I cannot wait to dive into that. I'll bring you back when we cut into it. Okay, guys, we're waiting for Bryant to come in here and taste, but I want you to hear something. That's the crusty bread. And Judah wants to say, hey. Say, how are you? How are you? I'm good. <laughs> He's a good. He's good. How are you? <laughs> All right, let's... Cut Mr. Farmer Man. Hey, everybody. Preacher Man a slice. You show how, how it uh, sounded? Yep. All right. It's hot. Look at, Look that. at that crumb. Look at that Yummy. All right, I'm giving you the end piece. Is that That's okay? Fine. I'm used to the end pieces. Here's butter. Here's butter. Melted butter. All right. I love butter on my bread, so I'll just take a little bit of that right there. Judah is acting crazy he gets wild tonight. Today, let me tell you. in the living room a minute, brother. <laughs> so they don't think you can call Child Protective Services <laughs> on us, okay? It's a phenomenal. Do you notice something different on it? Uh, the sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She didn't think I would notice. Really good. <laughs> what am I she tried to take my bread. You see that? Mm -mm. It is really good. You it change, is so good. You change anything about no. it? No. Look at it. Just put sesame seeds on top. The only thing different. And y'all saw how easy, easy peasy. My hands never touched that bread. No. If you look at that right there, you think it's a Big Mac bun. <laughs> Sesame seed bun. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys. Two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickle, onions on a sesame bun. He's going to keep buttering and keep eating. Yeah, I'm Judah's keep... in a bad mood. We got to feed the boy. So we're going to sign out of here. Please subscribe, hit the bell notification, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And leave a comment. Leave a comment. This bread is so good. Y'all got to try it. It's the easiest bread you'll ever make. So thank you guys for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, Bye guys. Y